Hi, everybody. What's up? I'm DJ Sixsmith. You're watching Sit Down. Helena New York is back with us. And guess what? The other two is back. Season two, it's going to be on HBO Max, start on Comedy Central. Plenty of Helena New York in your life coming up. Helena, how are you? I'm good. I'm very excited to invade your living room. <laughs> so this has been a crazy experience for you because, you know, the show premieres a couple of years ago at this point. It had been a minute since the show had been on TV. Now it has a new home in HBO Max, originally a Comedy Central production. So how excited are you just to have this show back out there in the ether? We're so pumped. I mean, it's been a long time. We started production in February 2020 with bright eyed, bushy tailed, ready to go, the infinite possibilities of life, the wind in our hair. And then, you know, five weeks in, they were like, we think we need to go home. And we were home for a year and then started back up again, February, 2021. And it was just like putting on an old hat and just felt like an entire year of our lives had been blown off the planet. So we're so excited. I, I think this season is really good. It's kicked up a notch. It feels like we poured gasoline on it and lit it on fire. So. We're, we're hoping it's it feels like a grand return. <laughs> I think it will. And especially after being away from a year, right? When you're not interacting with anybody, when we need the laughs, what was the best part of just about being back together with everybody and, and doing this thing on set again? Um, I really love being with the cast. Um, Drew and I, it's even season two, we had become very brother and sisterly season one, it just got closer and closer. And um he and Ken were roommates uh, during both iterations and uh, just the, the bits and the endless laughs um, on set. And then I also spent a lot of time with Molly Shannon this year because I play her manager. Um, so getting to spend a lot of time with Molly, who's just an absolute legend and such a positive, bright light was um, such a privilege. And I, I, I can't believe that this is my life. <laughs> <laughs> Molly Shannon has had an incredible career and you've worked with some cool folks, but what is it about her that stands out that maybe just as a fellow actor, you're like, I really respect this about what you're bringing here. I think what Molly brings is um, she has this very natural way of um, understanding what's important in her life. She prioritizes her kids and her husband and, you know, her home and, and being there for them. And um, she's just, uh, I think she has a sense of humor about what we do. I think it's so insane that we go to set and say pretend words and do pretend stuff all day. And um, I think she takes every opportunity to have a good time. Every job that she's on is an opportunity to talk about a true crime show that she just watched or an article she read at the Atlantic <laughs> right up until they call action. It's just like, and then the body was dumped in the river action. <laughs> Um, and you're like trying to focus because you're like Molly Shannon is telling me about true crime and I want to know, but then I also have to, they're call, they're about to call action. <laughs> um, so every time I would go home, just feeling lighter than air being like, oh, it's not that deep. And this is fun what we do. It's so easy, I think. And this goes for any job to be totally buried in the like mundane, you know, crap that happens with everything. And she's just, um, she's just a bright, bright light. And you're also like, damn, I better brush up on what's going on in the news or else I'm going to have no idea what Molly Shan's talking about. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like feverishly reading these articles in the Atlantic being like, I want to be on this, watching bad true crime, like a Nexium documentary. Like, this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> she was right. <laughs> so you have a lot of great people on this show. You've done some other cool projects in the past. But when you think about season one, why do you think this show resonated in such a way? Because it's a little bit different. It's funny. It brings everybody together in a cool way. What do you think stands out about the show? I think what stands out is this thing that people keep telling us is that we're not mean to each other and we don't have jealousy or resentment within the family. Um, and I think it's a refreshing perspective that these two are the other two, but at the end of the day, they love their family. They're rooting for them to succeed, but they're also desperate to make it in their own little corners, their own little pieces of the pie, if you will. Um, so I think generally that they're not clawing at each other is, um, it leaves room for also a different kind of comedy, which I think is really refreshing. It's not mean, in other words. I think the family dynamics of play are super interesting, right? Because you think to yourself, oh, if one person has something going on, automatically somebody's going to be jealous. But it's actually just you want your own thing, right? Whatever that thing is, you're just trying to find it. And I feel like Brooke definitely is trying to figure out her thing as we go along here, right? Yeah, I think it's, uh, I, she's really trying to figure out um, who she who she is in the midst of finding out that she's actually really killing it at this job. 
but you know, who is she at the end of the day? Who is she going home to? Um, what's important to her? So, yeah. That's awesome. So you said before, it's like pouring gasoline on it here. So if people haven't checked out the show before, what are they in for? If they, you know, they pop on HBO Max and they're like, oh, this looks good. What can they expect? Well, Carrie and I are just doing much, we're doing better-ish in our own lives. So we find ourselves in some fancier, bigger deal situations being still ourselves, unfortunately. Um, you know, uh, the progression of our careers and a lot more Molly Shannon and um, kind of this different world. What was really fun is we actually shot, Molly plays a daytime um, star, daytime TV star. We shot on the Rachel Ray set here in New York. Um, just, you know, sweeping shots of middle-aged uh, Midwestern ladies in primary colors in the audience. So it's a different fan base this year. It's a different flavor. Um, and then also still some really fun pop culture hijinks and references. Good deal. Well, we'll be watching. Good to talk to you again. And we'll chat again down the road, all right? You too. Thanks, DJ.